Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, so this is going to be my last game of Season 9, because Season 10 is coming out in a few days. So, you know, you know, we got to play the Ymir against Izanami. Classic matchup. Classic matchup. And by classic matchup, I mean, uh, I usually ban Izanami, and this can be miserable. But I do want to say that I've, I've been busy. I took, I took my trip to SWC, Smite World Championship. And gotta say, oh, the best trip of my life. I met so many awesome people. I spent so much time with friends. Got so many. Uh, just, just had such a great time. Uh, and season ten really has me motivated to be making Smite content again, man. Uh, this, this is exactly how it kind of felt uh, last time I went to SWC or HRX, which was what 2019. That was the last in-person Worlds they had. But being there in person and seeing the energy and the people around, you know, a game that has been such a big part of my life, uh, it's just really motivating, right? That might sound dumb, but I mean, yeah, Smite, Smite's a big part of my life. <laughs> Always has been. Uh, but yeah, it got me really excited for Season 10. The Season 10 changes look amazing. If you guys haven't seen them, you need to go watch Patch Notes or uh, the trailer for New God. Oh my god, it's an incredible. I am so, so excited. PTS is already out. I'm actually going to be streaming PTS when this video goes live. Uh, even though this game right now, we are just uh, we're just playing Season 9. Uh, going to start Blue Buff. Going to start Bancrofts as well. Uh, this season, I kept having a bunch of different starts on Ymir. And I, I honestly don't know. Uh, it, it, it seemed very situational. Sometimes it seemed better to start Spirit Mages for the extra pen. Sometimes it seemed better to start the Bancrofts. She's like right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna wall her off so she loses some minions to tower. She did double buff. Uh, I would go take minis, but I think I need to take uh, this wave first. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose pressure, which would suck. Like also, this is gonna be the year that I can safely say it'll be the first year uh, that I'm actually gonna conquest a solid shot. Why did you do that? I'm gonna give conquest a solid shot this year. Uh, I, there's been a few times in the past that I'm like, eh, you know, Conquest would be cool, but not one that I've been like actually super serious about it. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn the strats. I'm gonna <laughs> build e efficiently or whatever. In the past, when I've played Conquest, I just kind of do my own thing. Uh, but no, this year I think I'm gonna give it a solid shot, probably as either ADC or solo. I think solo is most similar to the dual content, right? And I can also play my damage guardians in solo a little bit <laughs> if I want. <laughs> But uh, gameplay-wise, uh, those are probably my two best roles. I suck at support. I'm so bad at support. Absolutely. Like, yeah, give me any Guardian, and then it's like, all right, wh which, what role am I going? I'm going ADC solo, jungle, what's up? All right, all right, I can do this. It's like, wait, support? Putting me on support with the Guardian? Uh-oh. My brain is not designed for this. I can play aggressive supports, I guess. I must acquire this at once. Uh, probably gonna go breastplate for the cooldown. Ymir lives off of cooldown. Uh, but yeah, lots of changes coming to the next season I want to talk about. Uh, I can't talk about every change because there's so many, but the big changes are they're making wide uh, stat changes to classes. So. I believe assassins are getting some pen, hunters are getting a little bit extra auto attack damage, mages are getting magical power, guardians are getting CCR, uh, crowd control reduction, and then warriors are getting a uh, cooldown reduction. And it applies to all warrior, like each one is for its class, so like for guardians, all guardians get that CCR, all hunters get that. And they balanced it a little bit in different ways to ma not make it super broken. Oh, I got her beats, nice. Uh, let's see. Demon King's not up yet. Her blue buff's gonna be down for like another 30 seconds. Just gonna take my own blue. Uh, I'll still be playing duel. Uh, no, it's just, this gonna take too long. I'm still gonna be playing duel next season, uh, since duel's always been my main game mode, but yeah, just really excited for learning conquest, I guess, properly. Uh, this seems like the best time to get into smite. Uh, I've said that, I think I said that when they removed boots. Uh, because it switched up the games in so much that everyone was kind of having to relearn the game or like relearn uh, strats and stuff. Like honestly, removing boots was such a big change. Uh, season ten kind of feels like that. Feels like it is an equally as big change or equally as big changes. 
I do have blink. So if she like yeah, if she does that, I might just like pretend to back and then dive her. No, she's she's playing it safe, never mind. Oh, uh, I mean we're winning. Just, you know uh not as fast as I would like to. Oh sorry about the green screen behind me by the way. Uh, I don't have my my lighting set up in here. But yeah, I ha I have a I got a key light, but I have to connect it to the Wi-Fi with like wirelessly. But my computer doesn't have wireless internet access. I get to connect it to get Ethernet. So I gotta figure that out. I'll probably have to go go and buy something to connect it. Uh, she should be dead here, like thousand percent. Thousand percent. Yep. Goodbye. Too easy. Too easy. Oh, look at that! My my ultimate doing zero damage. Oh, how does Ymir do it? Zero damage kill. Another huge change. Oh, I did want to talk about this. Huge change to season ten is all ranked will now be crossplay, which is very, very. I cannot stress this enough. This that could save duel because <laughs> right now duel's biggest problem is not that many people play it and because not that many people play it when you queue and you're you know gold or something you get matched into a masters player right and that sucks however with more players in the player base for duel it only needs to find two people near skill level like other game modes like conquest it's matchmaking is a lot more difficult because it has to find 10 people near skill level for everybody but for duel you just need the other person to be like kind of near you right like matchmaking uh it's it's a lot easier for duel so with them making it cross play uh that will be very good for duel it's going to increase the player base a lot and make matchmaking better that's my opinion because i know that there is a huge amount of console players that are insanely good at smite and they could kick my butt like any day of the week uh but again they were on console queues so i would never run into them now i'm gonna start running into them you know what i mean but yeah so that's another big change for season 10 that it's like yes let's go high res good job Getting, getting that crossplay. I know uh, Biakai was fighting for that when he was Olympian as well as uh, some other Olympians. I never really went for Olympian. I just feel like uh, I've been too focused on duel and it wouldn't be fair, right? But maybe in the future I would if I, you know, uh, maybe like the next the year after this one. It depends. Especially if I switch more to Conquest. If I play in Conquest and Duel, then I feel like I would have a more fair assessment of the game uh, for a lot of changes. Because there's a lot of things that are like Duel only or Conquest only, and I know they're Duel only or Conquest only, but uh, being able to play, you know, play both game modes regularly would make it fine. Uh, we could totally go take Demon King. I have my ult. This is risky. This is one of those things that's like, yeah, do I risk this? I mean, I'm two levels up. If I die here, that's bad. But if I get this, it'll save me a lot of pain and headache. Yeah, she's in lane. She's coming over here. Let's see, let's get our even key down to that. There we go. Uh, I will recall, though, because I do want... Do I want Demonic? I kind of want Hecate, because she's not going defense yet, but... I have the gold now, so I'm just going to get this. I'm also going to get Sprint, I think. I like Sprint in Blink against Izanami just to chase her down, get rid of the slow. A lot of the fighting Izanami is just getting near her. I do need some anti-heal, though. Why'd you go this way? She did not go this way. I'm so blind or deaf <laughs> i could have spent that to be a red buff and the uh, lane it escapes down for a little bit isn't it oh damn she stayed in the same spot <laughs> actually should have blinked after that actually i still can Very nice. Fights. 
Oh, and then also they're doing a Magic the Gathering crossover. Listen, not to sound like a huge nerd or anything, but I, 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 I was kind of, I was kind of hyped about that. Kind of hyped about the Magic the Gathering crossover with Smite next, next, uh, next season. Or excuse me, for uh, Smite season ten, it's not called season ten. It's called Year Ten because they're doing four seasons in one year. So it'll be year 10, Smite, and then it'll have season 1, season 2, season 3, season 4 throughout the year. Whoops, that was dumb of me. Or was it? No, it was. I, th I, I thought she would stay. I get like four autos here. Before I got a skedaddle. I do have Bancroft, so if she like tries to fight me here, I will actually try and turn and kill her, I think. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> she could hit me around the corner. You don't tower again. I like I like trying for those things. There's no like I I could have just backed off right, but it makes it more fun. Uh, let's get anti heal because she's got uh devos. Devos gives pen. It's insane. It's a great item. 65 power, uh, 10 penetration, and 25% life still. That's like a very good item. Another change that I liked uh, for next, uh, for Smite's year 10 <laughs> is Divine Ruin. They're increasing the price but giving it a passive, which is kind of hype. Uh, I think it's like a Odysseus bow, kind of, where after using a like an ability or something, it like does a little lightning effect. And that lightning effect applies Divine Ruin, which I think at first I was like, okay, that's overpowered. <laughs> but then I thought about it, and with the price increase, I like it. Because there's a lot of gods that can apply Divine Ruin very effectively, and a lot of gods that can't. So it kind of evens it up, like, no matter who you are playing Divine Ruin, you are going to be applying it to a lot of enemies, which is nice. Uh, obviously, some are still way better at applying it, and that's good. But uh, I guess it, it just gives more gods more no. fair attack heal options, which is cool. You know, I'm about it. Doesn't really affect duel too much, but uh, still. God, this is Nami is, is sitting so far in Phoenix. Let's, go, let's back, get some wards, and just win the game, I guess. Wait, red buffs up? Did she think I backed? I hope she thinks I backed. Wow, she really didn't use her escape. Waiting. Wait, where the hell is she? Wait, actually? Wait, wait, am I dumb? Where did she go? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's not me. Alright. Just because I can't. Just because I have so much experience in Spite, I still can't track it as Nami Absolutely. going invisible while she's playing the low health voice line. Oh my god, that was bad. I thought she was just standing by my wall. I'm gonna look back at the recording of that. It feels so bad. Come on, come on, Bancrofts, Bancrofts. Nope. I got, I got Demon King. That should be fine. Uh, I am going to get. Let's see. Yeah, she didn't. She's not even going defense. I shouldn't. I definitely shouldn't have gotten the demonic. Uh, I do like auto attack here, though. So I think I'm gonna go Hecate. Also, yeah, wards aren't really useful now that Demon King's down. But still. Uh, and also, I never upgraded my nimble. I think if I had that nimble in that fight, I would have killed her. All right, how long do I have on Demon King? Like about 40 seconds, probably. If I don't get Phoenix, I'll get, you know, I'm hoping to get Phoenix or a kill here. If I get either, I'm happy. However, the game is kind of evened up now, which sucks. Are you still sitting in that Phoenix? The Phoenix sits down. They shan't cross me. Nice ages. Like, genuinely nice ages. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna lose. 
If I die for Phoenix, it's worth. Yeah, I, I died for Phoenix. Completely worth. Completely worth. Uh, if I didn't get Phoenix there, Demon King was down. She's already coming back to late game. It would have been really hard to, to keep it down. But now that Phoenix is down, and even if I lose Phoenix, it's okay. Uh, I can consistently keep Phoenix down and keep pressure on her Titan. So I, I, I think it's worth it. It would have been nice if I didn't die. But, I mean, also, her beats and her Aegis is down. And I have Blink. And she's here with half health. No, she's leaving. All right. Now, yeah, that was the right play. That was the right play. No. Dominance. They're also changing dominance, which is cool. Uh, right now it gives 10% pen and then plus a passive. They're moving that pen to the passive pretty much, which I think uh, makes the item make more sense. Like it's more in line with auto attack. Uh, and I think it'll be a little worse, but I think design wise it's better. Where? Oh. Absolutely. Just went straight ahead. All right. Now, if I blink on her while her escape's down, there's no way I kill her. So, I'm not going to waste that. But... Okay, that's half my health. Half my HP. I do have defense, by the way. Oh, my God. This 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 lady went... E Executioner plus Dominance plus Kid Size plus Devos. Are you kidding me? What what kind of sick joke is that? I'm not even lazy backing. It's not worth it. All right. Uh, in response, I build Typhons. Oh, are you going for Demon King? Shoot. I know she has anti heal, but I think I I think I need the power spike when I'm at no HP, basically. I'm also gonna go entangled wings. I think entangled wings is hype here for catching her out. If I use Entangled Wings while she's invisible, well, does it show where she is? Like, do I see the root effect? Because that'd be a crazy counter. I don't think it would show it. It would make the sound effect, and I could know where she is based on that. That'd be kind of cool. Force her escape into Entangled Wings. Let's do it. I should, I should chase with it. That was my chance. Chase with the tangled wings. I got her beats in Aegis. Oh, oh, shoot. Phoenix. Alright, I got it. Uh, just pretend I use entangled wings. Whoa, what? What? Entangled wings counters as Nami. Oh, it's insane. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe the game that did like that. <laughs> I was hoping she would dash away there and then I would use Tangled Wings and it would actually work, but uh, I, guess, I guess we won't know this game. If I were to guess how it works, it would not show her invisible because it doesn't do damage, but you would hear the, the sound effect of the active and you would know exactly where she is because of that. Plus, I mean, you basically see where she goes. You know that she's in the area and it just kind of keeps her in place. So, yeah, good game. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I am in platinum because I've lost so much this season. Uh, but I'll, I'll get back in diamond for the Smite Year 10. But I'm very much looking forward to things. I hope you guys all have a great day. And I will see you guys next time. All right, buddy.